Hi everyone, it's Evangeline here at eTrailer and today we are looking at the replacement Vortex strips for your Rhino Rack Vortex Aero crossbars here at eTrailer. When you do get some Rhino Rack Vortex Aero crossbars, they come pre-installed with these strips and you may need to replace them for some different reasons. Sometimes you might cut off a little bit too much when you're fitting your accessories in there or they may get damaged from extreme weather conditions, whether it be a lot of sun or a lot of cold. Either way, it's really easy to replace them. And let's take a look at them. These are made for the Vortex Aero crossbars and they have a unique design here at the top. Now your Aero crossbars are designed to reduce wind drag and wind noise and these strips just add to that design. You can see how you have grooves as well as how they are shaped to help with that drag and noise. Now these are very important, not only to reduce that wind noise and drag when they are on your vehicle, but also to protect your crossbars. As I lift this up, you can see how the inside is now open to the elements. Water can get in, dirt and grime can get in. You really don't want those inside your crossbars. So if you do find gaps on your strips, please replace them or fill them up as quick as you can. The Vortex strips are 15 and 3 quarter inches long. Now that's going to be a useful measurement for you because these crossbars come with those separate strips. So here we have the 49 inch long crossbar and what that actually means is your crossbar space or where your T-tracks are, are 49 and 5 eighth inches long. So we have one, two, three and a small piece of a fourth of these strips on there. So you're going to have to cut and mix and match according to your crossbar spread. Another purpose for these strips are they do give a little bit of a rise to your crossbar. That way if you do have your kayak, your canoe, your surfboard straight on the bars and you're not using a kayak carrier, you don't have to worry too much about it having contact with the crossbar. You have a little bit of cushion just to prevent those extra scuffs and scratches during transport. Now I have here the old strip and you can see how it maintains its shape. It's not as flexible as it was before and it's slightly brittle. It's still going to be effective and it still works, but compare it to the flexibility of this other strip, you can see why I wanted to change it. So for install, what you need to do is just take off the end cap first so that you have an open space. So you use your key, unlock that end cap and pop it off. You then have two options for installing your replacement strip. The first one is you can feed it through the T-tracks here at the bottom or the second one, which I like to do a lot more, is just place it right where you want it to go and pop it in. One thing to make sure is that it's lined up with the other strip on the bar and that you push it in to make sure there are no gaps between the two strips. Once you have all your missing or damaged Vortex strips replaced, you can then pop your end cap back on and then lock it into place and then you are good to go. My final thoughts about these Vortex strips is it is a good idea just to check on your own current Rhino Rack system if they're good and if they're brittle or if they need replacing. They're still going to work great, but if you want them to work greater, I recommend replacing them since it's a really quick and easy process. Again, these are just for Rhino Rack Vortex Aero crossbars. If you have other types of crossbars, check them out on our e-trailer site to get the right replacement for you.